time. Here you go, mate. Get the change. Thanks. See ya. Hello. Hello, love. What's all this, then? It's a demonstration. Local residents are trying to stop the council tarmacking over cobbles. Let me guess, this uh, demonstration wouldn't be led by an ageing left-wing firebrand called Kenneth Barlow, would it? He did have a lot to do with it, yeah. Do you know him? <laughs> yeah, I know him. Oh. Hey! Still the rebel trying to overturn society, then? I thought you'd be at home in your carpet slippers. Peter! Hiya, Dad! <laughs> My son! Oh, right, hiya! Hey, this is wonderful. What are you doing here? Uh, never mind what I'm doing here. What are you doing here? Hey, Red Ken, they used to call No, no, that wasn't me, that wasn't me. Listen, you are staying. If you'll have me. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't talk no, at the No, I can see you're busy. You carry on. As soon as this is over, I'm all yours. Hey, up. Okay, looks like I got fed up. It's so good to see you, Peter. And you, yep. I'm sorry about all this business. It's OK. Oh, hello, is that Northern Heritage? Uh, could I speak to Ralph Merriweather, please? Yes, yes, I'll hold on. So, you you've it's uh, finished with the Navy for good now? Yeah, yeah, I've done me 20 years, so that's it. 20 years? So, you'll have a pension then? Well, yeah, I've got enough to keep uh, body and soul together until I decide what I want to do next. Oh, and, er... Uh, I've also parted company from Jessica. Oh, no. Oh, well, no, other way around, actually. She parted company from me. This is your wife? Yes. It was my wife, yeah. Oh, Peter, I am sorry. Ah, well, usual story. I was somewhere under the Atlantic. She got sick of waiting and met somebody else. Uh, I'd rather not talk about it, to be honest. Then we won't, unless you change your mind and decide you want to. I think that's a terrible thing to do. To a man who's away serving his country. Mother! Peter just said he didn't want to talk about it. Oh, hello. I'm just giving him my opinion. And I agree with you, Blanche, you know, but she's gone. So. Well, when might he be available? Should, uh, should you be in here? I think I've time to buy my son a drink, even though it does have to be a quick one. No, what are you having? No, put your money away. I'm going to get these. Oh. What I was saying about growing up in a pub. <clears throat> Can I butt in? I only want some crisps. Yes, be my guest. What flavour, love? Two packets of plain. So what's your name, then? Linda. What's yours? Peter. Mm -hmm. Oh, cheers. Well, nice talking to you, Peter. Maybe we can talk some more. Maybe we can. You on your own? Not any longer. <clears throat> uh, so, do you live around here? Sort of. I work at the factory. What, Baldwin's factory? Baldwin's, yeah. Right, so how do you find your employer? Is he good to work for, is he? I've had worse bosses. Ones that have treated me worse, anyway. Oh, well, oh. Ah, yeah. Just keeping me company. Well, he can carry on a bit longer. Just gonna have a word with Roy. Take your time. How are you two keeping? Oh, oh fine. You know that bloke <laughs> that you come in with that's talking to Linda now? Who is he? Peter. That's cancel. He's not. Yeah. And if it's Linda Baldwin he's talking to, they should have plenty to talk about. Yes, all right, Mother. He were his twin sister, Susan, who were once married to her husband. Hey, does anyone want to hear some good news? Yes! It's about Vera. She's come round. She's going to be all right. Yes! Do you know who that is that you're talking to? I know he fancies his chances. Ken Bylaw's son. Hey, and where? There's something else. His sister used to be married to your husband. Oh, thanks for telling me. <laughs> mm. No, and I knew Baldwin, right? And this were a while ago. But people don't change. Not deep down. The real con artist. Yeah? Always trying to impress you, wanting to let you know he got one over on somebody. Ah, you? Oh, I thought you got lost. Oh, no, I'm just, uh, just making friends. Oh, well, you'll have introduced yourselves, then. So, uh, in that case, you won't need me to tell you that Linda is Mike Baldwin's wife. See you later. I was going to tell you. What, after you'd had enough of making a fool out of me? After I'd finished telling you what a conniving two-faced bloke your husband really is? I didn't ask you to. No, but you didn't stop me, did you? Well, he is all them things. And I'll tell you something else, love. You two, you were made for each other. Is he 
be coming back. Well, if he does, I won't be here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Listen. Listen. The quiet! Oh, oh I'm sorry, yes. Emily. If you want to save this street the way it is, you better get out there yes. now. Because the tarmacers are on the move, Maria. and this time they mean business. Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're going, I guess. No, I don't think I'll bother. Well, it's your heritage too. Leave off that. I'm only visiting here. All right. Then a cause worth fighting for. What? Saving the cobbles. And what they stand. For. No, lives are worth fighting for. Your country's worth fighting for. This, this is a flaming pantomime. What it'll do for me? Oh yeah, I know. Because this is you, innit? it. This is all you've ever known. Hey. This little inbred world, everybody minding everybody else's business, lace curtains twitching. It's a small world here, Dad. It's as small as it gets. So you're not coming? No, they can tarmac the whole lot for all I care. Cobbles, houses, every last bit of it. All right? Sit yourself. Oh, it's brilliant news about Vera, isn't it?